y'all, it's your girl Asia C. Error, and I am back with another cash stuffing video. So today we are going to be stuffing our cash envelopes and our sinking funds. And it's going to be a little different because I literally am going against the budget that I did on last Thursday. And the reason is because my income... I get paid bi-weekly and my first check of the month is a smaller check where it's just an hourly check and then my second paycheck I get a bonus based off of my performance for the month of course. So my second check is always going to be higher than my first check and normally I usually pay half towards every single bill. But because my expenses have increased, it's a little more difficult for me to keep up with that. So I have to tweak some things in my budget. It might be in November where I share the changes with you guys, but I'm testing some things. I want to see how this works where I stuff on my first check and then my second check I pay the bills. So it should work, um, but we'll see. We'll see. So, um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Asia C. Era, and I do all things budgeting. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. So, let's get to it. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit backwards as well. We are going to stuff our sinking funds first, and then we will do the remaining balance with our cash envelope. So, Let's count how much we have because I really don't know how much we have. I know I, I think I took out 300, but let's see. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 81, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 50, 50. 50. 80. So that's 280. That means that I've already spent $20. And I know I did a Walgreens run yesterday. So we are fine. So we're not going to stuff all of this because I still need to do my savings challenges on Wednesday. So we're not, and I need to do a bed loans Friday, a uh, student loan payment on Friday. So we're not going to stuff all of this, but we are going, so it's 280. We are going to do what we can and what I feel is best. Changes have to be made, and that is life. But we're just going to keep it simple. So for car maintenance, um, I know that I already have 300 in the bank for car maintenance. So we're not going to stuff much. Actually, let's do $3 here. There is work. I know I keep telling y'all. There is work that needs to be done on my car. And I just have to get there. I, I really, honestly, I just don't want to spend the money. Let's be real. Birthdays. There's a lot of money in birthdays. We're just going to do a dollar. Let's do two dollars. There's a lot of money in the bank account. So it's a hundred in, it was 105 in the bank. So now we have a total of 107 vacation this is going to be something new and i can't wait to show you guys Ooh, i'm gonna show you guys well it's nothing like spectacular but i'm gonna start a vacation binder i'm gonna start getting out of the house y'all and living my best life 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is in vacation so we'll add another five one two three four five and i have some categories like my girl that's my sis rochelle adamson budget so 
furniture. My sister just told me that we should, well, my mom's daughter, um, start saving to change up Amir's room a little bit. So we are going to do that. And we'll start, you know, just not making it too much, just a little bit. No, no pressure on the furniture, but we're going to get him because he has bunk beds now. So I should just get him a twin bed and make like a little plate area for him. So we'll do that. Amir's clothes. So you guys know I have been shopping for him. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize we have $50 in there. And I know I want to get him. I've been telling you guys. But I need to get him another pair of shorts and another pair of shoes. I want to get like some green vans. I think that'll be cute with his green polo for school. So um, so we have 20, 40, we have 50 in there. So let's add, let's just add another five. Because who knows when I'll make it to the mall or if I make it to the mall. So we can just passably save for that. So four and five. So this should be 55. So 20, 40, 5, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. It's for Amir's clothes. Beauty. Let's stuff this back. Let's do 40 for beauty. Medical, we're not putting anything. Christmas, you know, we have our Black Friday challenge. One, 20, one, 22, 23, 24, 25. So let's add two dollars. Nothing major. And then for my clothes, I probably do. Oh, it's empty. So let's do. Hmm, let's do forty. And that is it. Holidays is here. Let's see what's in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Let's make it fifteen. Fourteen and fifteen. Perfect. So let's put that back away. I need to punch holes in there. And I will. Perfect. So we'll put that aside. And now let's bring out our cash envelopes. And I wanted to do sinking funds first because cash envelopes, I do not want to overdo it. Um, I am very limited this check because, like I told you guys, um, I'm paying rent and... A larger portion of the rent I'm paying now and I'm saving a hundred dollars every week to build my savings back up so that I can pay off this credit card so yeah I'm being very 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 careful on how much I spend right now so it's okay it, I'm doing good things. I'm doing good things, big things. We're getting it done. So, for gas. Gas, $30 has been doing awesome for me. I actually still have about either a half or a quarter tank of gas. So, if I add this 30, that'll definitely put me at full. Well, some of it, most of it will put me at full. So, I will be good for the next two weeks. That is a mere screaming, let me close the door, Okay. Allowance. This is where it is going to get very sticky because I do like to spend, okay? I am a natural saver, but there are things that I like to splurge on. So, allowance is going to be, whoo, it's going to be tight, but we're going to do it. So, Normally, I would put $200 in here. I would basically have $100 per week for my allowance. I cannot do that. I am going to cut this very, very... I wish I could do 100 and do 50 a week. I wonder if... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Let's do 60 because I've already spent some. 
I've already spent some money. So let's see if I can, let's see how far $60 would get me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And this is like for um, anything. Like if I'm just in the mood to go to, to spend money, this is, I, I spend this. So that's $60. That's $30 for the week. Today is $30 per week. Today is Sunday. If I lock myself in the house until maybe Thursday, which will be easy because y'all know I don't go anywhere anyway, I should be fine with sixty. Let's 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 do that. Let's let's try it and see. Um, eating out. Eating out has this rip dollar, and we shall actually. I really don't want to have an eating out. I, I don't want to put anything in eating out. For the next two weeks, I want to eat at home. I, I already did grocery shopping like I always do. Like I told you guys, there's always food in my house. So, eating out. Y'all, I'm going to challenge myself. No spend on eating out for the next two weeks. So for the next two weeks, grocery, nothing because we already have food in the house and miscellaneous, nothing. I am going to be very strict. It's going to be very tight these next two weeks, but it's okay. We can do it. So what we have left is 2040. Let's count it properly. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, $88. So $88 is what we are going to, what we have left for the rest of this week. That is going to be spending for our savings challenges and for our student loan debt. And you guys know, majority of this needs to go to our student loan debt. So, you guys, I'm excited. Let's see how we do this week. It has been a very long time since I've had a tight, tight budget. But I'm. it's crazy because I'm actually excited to see how it goes. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section how you guys think I should split this money. Should I do 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60 towards student loan debt, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, and the 28 towards our um savings challenges and let's see let's see because there's some things that i want to do with the savings challenges as well so yeah let's 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 just make a conversation down in the comments because i don't know what well, how would you spend the next 88 dollars between student loans and two three savings challenges um the ten dollar savings challenge challenge which we don't have a 10 our Black Friday Savings Challenge, which, let's see. For the Black Friday Savings Challenge, these are the boxes that we have left. I'll give y'all a minute so y'all can see. And then the other Savings Challenge is the 100 Envelope Savings Challenge. So, let's talk it out. Let's see how it goes. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.